This is it, right? The rock stool? I lied. The Council of Valkyries. The Valkyries are of Valhalla, are they not? Glad to see you're paying attention, brother. You are correct. Valhalla, the great hall of the Ain Heriar, is their home within Asgard. But while there, they are subject to the scrutiny of the Allfather himself. The relations between the Valkyries and Odin were tense during my tenure as his advisor. Why? Well, that's an even longer story, lad. For now, why don't we look around for some clues? I don't think she can hear you, lad. The helms must only retain but a small portion of their owner. I'd wager the rest is in transit to Valhalla to try and fix the mess left by their absence.
Saved the Valkyries. Sigrun, how did this happen? Mimir, is that you? You have been freed, but... Freedom comes at a price, milady. You speak truly. Countless winters we serve the Allfather. But only through his union to the Queen did we ever taste some measure of freedom. But aren't you the Queen? There has only been one Queen of the Valkyries, the goddess Freya. When Odin severed her wings, I served in her absence, but it wasn't enough for the Allfather. He used an archaic piece of magic, corrupting my sisters. I tried to contain the damage by imprisoning them in places where they could cause no harm, but soon I lost myself as well. Sigrun, I'm sorry for being so worthless. I could have done something, or tried at the very least. What will you do now? I must reunite with my sisters. Together we can restore balance to the realms. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. Well, we did it, I suppose. You don't sound very happy about it. It's difficult to be happy about anything when you're a reanimated head. I'm grateful we were able to set the Valkyries free. But so much of this could have been avoided, only... You said it yourself, Head. It does not matter anymore. The past is the past. Well, that's awfully cheerful coming from you. I am in a good mood. The dwarves will make use of this hell. Your dad's a wee bit single-minded, isn't he, lad? Definitely. Gunnar, mistress of war. 
After any conflict, big or small, she would be first on the scene, sussing out the worthy spirits for a free trip to Valhalla. A gruesome task, but she took great pride in it. Any conflict? Impossible. It's true. She had help from her sisters, of course, but Gunnar was always first to arrive. Her judgment of the Fallen was unparalleled, and an invaluable resource to Odin. She was one of his favourites. Ah, Gondul. Beautiful Gondul. And? Huh? That's it? Beautiful Gondul? No story or anything? Uh, oh, sorry, lad. The sight of Gondul always took my breath away. Gondul had a silver tongue, a sharp wit, and struck a figure so stunning it literally drove men insane. Odin forbid her from setting foot in Midgard after a time, as insanity is not a welcome trait in Valhalla. This is none other than Gerdrifol, the master of arms in Valhalla, responsible for arming and training Odin's Inheriar. His what? His army, come Ragnarok. The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Einherjar wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking, and fa- Ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. Once Ragnarok begins, Odin calls them into service to fight on his behalf. Gerdry Fool had her hands full training that lot. This, my friends, is Kara. Now, Valkyries are volatile by nature, but Kara, the lass is Wild Storm personified. A Wild Storm? Aye, calm and collected. Then the air would shift, and the fury of our storm would unleash. It was beautiful in a way, assuming you could find proper shelter. Her tears would cleanse the blood-soaked battlefields. This is Rota, a chooser of the slain. I thought all the Valkyrie did that. Not exactly, lad. Although that is what they're most famous for, and by far their greatest responsibility. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgment of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld, without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rota must be beside herself. Ah, here we have Air, the healer. A Valkyrie healer? Strange. Air was strange, as a matter of fact. Very quiet, very calm. Where her sisters were violent rapids, Air was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods, and even a certain all-knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Ugh, not my proudest moment. Well, well, Hilda, mistress of battle. She and Odin got on quite well, actually. Her and the other Valkyries, not so much. She would spend most of her time here in Midgard observing discord between the living, and sewing some up herself from time to time. She would live for conflict. Some say she was conflict personified. I wonder what will become of her now that she's free. Old Rune, once the daughter of a powerful chieftain, she fell defending him during a reaver attack. Old Rune was escorted to Valhalla, where she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behavior amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. How'd she end up a Valkyrie? Odin. He saw a kindred spirit in Olrun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as the Valkyrie's resident historian. Queen? She never told us. You never told us. Explain yourself, Head. Or are you bewitched again? Not at all. Freya was Queen of the Valkyries at one point. Part of her marriage dowry included overseeing the Valkyries themselves. As a powerful Vanir goddess, they revered her. I never knew how much until now. 